is National Arthritis Awareness Month, and we want to turn the spotlight on a NASCAR Infinity Series racer who was born with juvenile rheumatoid arthritis. So Jean Song has more on Natalie Decker's journey of grit and resilience. It was so much fun. It was fun. Good job. I love the speed. I love the adrenaline. I love the competition. In the driver's seat, NASCAR racer Natalie Decker has been pushing boundaries and claiming victory since she was nine. My dad took me into a go-kart track and I saw kids my age racing go-karts and I knew right then and there that I could do that and that would be a way for me to learn more about racing and get the experience to hopefully one day race in NASCAR. But the Wisconsin native had to factor in a bump on the track, juvenile rheumatoid arthritis. Having to pretty much live at the doctor's office, going there every other week, getting your blood drawn, seeing all sorts of different doctors. I definitely knew at a young age that that was going to be a big part of my life. With the right doctors and treatments, Decker was able to stay in the zone. I was in dance class, I did plays, I played in hockey, I did so many sports, and my life was still very active. But even today, she makes pit stops for her health a priority. My routine for preparing for a race or recovering from a race is definitely different than a lot of other race car drivers. You have to be very athletic. It is very, it is very hard on your body. And that's one thing a lot of people don't know. We are sitting in one position for hours at a time. And that's really hard on my joints and my body. So a lot of the times I'll get, my hands will flare up and I'll have a lot of pain in my hands or my elbows, my knees. Some days it's really hot and whatever temperature it is outside, it's about 20 to 40 degrees hotter inside the race car. So it can be very tiring and exhausting and I have to really train my body to make sure I will be able to last the whole race. As an ambassador for the Arthritis Foundation, Decker has been more vocal about her condition in recent years. I was so nervous to talk about the autoimmune diseases I have because it's scary to, you know, talk about your personal life like that. And I didn't want people to see me as weak or treat me different or judge me for what I have. And I'm so glad I shared my story because there's been so many people that come up to me at the racetrack or message me on social media and they tell me their story and we can relate on such a great level. And that just really makes me feel really good that I can share my story and help others. Her experiences have also taught her to look beyond the surface. With having an autoimmune disease, I've learned that so many people are going through something that's invisible that you cannot see. And so many people, when they look at me, I look healthy, I look strong. So you always treat others how you wanna be treated. You have no idea what's happening behind closed doors or what their health looks like and to always be kind.